Captain on the bridge. All right, Captains, we are back on the bridge. And today, yes, we got some things to go over. Let me start Trek online. OP shout Twitter feed so on screen. Yes, Captains, before we get into this video, do us a huge favor. Hit that like button. Also, if you're new here, welcome. Consider subscribing here to the YouTube bridge as we're always on the lookout for like-minded Captains. We're going to share our love, our passion for Star Trek Online, but also things Star Trek. Now, with that said, here we go. As we mentioned, we got some things to go over. So what we're going to do is go over the numerous blogs that we have here. Actually, just only one. But then a couple of the tweets. Drop our two ECs and at the end, give our conclusion. So I wanted to kind of go over this particular tweet. First, apparently there's some issues or there was issues that people were experiencing logging into Stove via Steam today. I am not sure if that's still a thing. I don't really see a actual fix but this last tweet here as of eight hours ago as of the making of this video is update three we're working on deploying an update to our launcher that may circumvent the issue so that's only update three there's no particular tweet of them mentioning it's done it's fixed here you go or it'll be the next patch or whatever have you so hopefully captains you're not having issues but if you are hopefully that'll get fixed very soon but into the main meat of this video here we go. Now, I'm going to say there may be some words here that I'm not going to be able to say. I'm not so well-versed in medieval talk. But here we go. Captains, we mentioned that we we're going to go over this. When the official blog comes out, we've already done our initial reaction to this. Not only this ship, but also the USS Theseus. But finally, here we go. We're actually just going to pause this bad boy here. So, forsooth... And huzzah, that I know. Take command of a vessel of true quality. When thou dost unlock the Hysperian Intel Battle Cruiser from Star Trek Lower Decks in this year's Lona Festival on the shores of Bountiful Raisa. So there we go. Let's look at the video here first. So we'll expand this. We'll go full screen on this. Make sure that we don't blast any eardrums. Make sure that's not too loud. And here we go. And there we have it, Caps. That is the actual event prize for this year's summer event. We're super, super excited for it. As my initial thoughts when I saw that ship on Strange, uh, sorry, Strange, on Lower Decks, I should say, is that's going to be a promo ship and or the, uh, Infinity Lockbox or whatever have you. But to find out that it was actually going to just be a free ship, essentially by doing a five-minute daily if that i'm excited all over it yes not the most beautiful looking thing but it's still a free ship now a couple things that we wanted to go over in this trailer video which is your kind of standard show off video was they mentioned this on the stream there that thomas i think really kind of want to emphasize the actual shine off it and you kind of really see that here as it kind of passes the underneath of the vessel here and numerous shots here especially there and you can see kind of the scaly sort of outer skin that they use which looks really cool and again it's 
Captains, you know I'm a Fetty boy. I'm never gonna be departing from that love, but it's fun now and then to go on a different ship and just have some fun. Like I said, Captains, we always do things for fun here on the bridge so that we're not always stressing out on what's the next best ship or whatever. That's not how we do it here on the bridge. So the other thing I wanted to bring attention to was the nacelles. The nacelles, for some reason, remind me of some like retro look from the past, you know, but yeah, they just, for some reason, are screaming to me like 70s, 60s, even back like a TOS era type sort of looking style there. But get a little closer look at the details there. It was pretty good. I Again, they, they've been translating very well the ships that we see in Lower Decks into Star Trek Online as best as they can. And I think this is a pretty good representation. It's not as lively, obviously, like bright, especially when you put the two images together of this ship and an actual shot from the show but regardless we're excited again there's that little glow there underneath and definitely you know captains we're gonna be taking a lot of shelfies with the ship just because and we're gonna have some fun with it definitely gonna have fun with this ship so thought i'd point those out things that just stood out to me especially this back end here this reminds me almost of like claw from a bug not a claw like a mandible type feature there but very, very interesting then of course you got the octopus looking things there at the front so again very very true to what we saw on screen and just very happy that it is coming to star trek online but also coming to star trek online for free but we'll get into that a little bit more so let's go over the blog here officially Nice little aft shot there of the ship. So, journey with the Hyperion Intel Battle Cruiser. So, huzzah! One's heart cannot but leap for joy at the sight of the Grand Hyperion Royal Navy. The first throughout with wonderment and majest majesty. Suffused? Maybe that's the first. Suffused? Sure. I told you. The pride and joy of the fleet of the Hyperion Intel Battle Cruiser, which includes the illustrious. HRN Monaby, flagship and royal conveyance of choice. These mighty vessels are powered by the heartbeat of the dragon's blood flame. And while no spells have yet been developed to allow the literal dragons stored within to fight in space, the vessel itself is enchanted with their best traits. Capable of bellowing fire and possessing a formidable mastery of elemental magics. This vessel is more than magical enough to protect its treasures from, again, these, these words. Scurlius loots? Sure. Louts? Loots? The vigor of its arcane, arc, arcane locomotion is beyond compare, fueling both its movement and its assault. As dragons are masters of magic, so too is the vessel capable of casting tremendous rays of disintegration upon its foes, disrupting their fundamental alchemical alchemical oh my god nature i told you gaps standard chance to reduce damage resistance rating question not the affairs of the high spirit royal navy perfidious plunder thunder the dragon's tastes are exquisite thou art flammable and ye would pair well with the royal dry red that was hard to get through <laughs> so many words that i have not even spoken but it's fun to always read those anyways there's another shot of it. Kind of a very thin pro side profile there. So, the Hyperion Intel Battle Cruiser. This starship includes a Lieutenant Commander Universal Intel Specialist Bridge Officer Seat and a Lieutenant Science Pilot Specialist Bridge Officer Seat. So, here's the details. Tier 6, of course. Federation or Federation Line. Must complete the tutorial. Hull Mod is 1.379. Shield Mod 1.137. 4 Weapons 5. Aft weapons three, device slot three, and here are the bridge officer stations. So it has a lieutenant commander tack, commander engineering, lieutenant science pilots, ensign science, and a lieutenant commander universal slash intel. So we can make this work. Definitely gonna make this work for us. A little fun here. You can also use surgical strikes and of course the reroute power weapons from a pilot. I I believe since it's still a lieutenant, I think you should have to ask that. If not, then who cares? I don't. Really, I rarely use pilot. So consoles are 4 attack, 5 eng 2 psi. Base turn rate is 9.73. Impulse mod 
0 0.1777 inertia 39 plus 10 weapon power plus 10 edge power can equip dual cannons spell of invisibility pretty cool which is just a cloak cruiser command array of course it has the nimble jig aura of protection tireless march of striking so i think this is movement this is shield and this could be weapons power <laughs> so funny oh sorry scurrying orb ponder the orb expose vulnerability armor same again for disarm and vital support this has the intel sort of powers there i believe console universal drugs dr drugs <laughs> dragons of blood flame reactor that is hilarious the starship ability package of a battle cruiser which is plus physical and kinetic resistance plus critical severity plus energy resistance plus hull hp and your admiralty stats is n52 side 37 attack 37 special plus two all stats per any ship that's going to be actually useful so here is the shot of the dragon's blood flame reactor quite hilarious we saw this on stream and was yes ridiculous but also looking forward to using this i have <laughs> there's a couple things that we can pair up with this in terms of console i already have ideas so we're gonna we're gonna have fun with this caps there you go the console universal dragon's blood flame reactor the dragon's blood flame is no mere console it is a work of the highest art filled with strange magics spells and spellingious extraordinaire i'm not even sure if i said that correctly the blood of dragons distilled and enscrolled with the whiffed and warp of the ether ether Thy dear god provides locomotion to this fabulous vessel of the royal navy activating it causes the ship to veritably breathe the fire of dragons emulating foes in a cone nearby the ship and draining an increasing amount of the engine's stamina in the process hmm. dealing damage increased by the remaining engine stamina while at rest the dragons of blood flame recovers more quickly with more plentiful engine stamina hmm. so higher engine power and we can have fun with that this wondrous insulation also passively provides an increase to disintegration, damage, and the five magics, fire, cold, electrical, radiation, and sonic, as well as increased engine stamina and maximum engine stamina, engine power. So tooltip, target cell, fire, damage, each second for 15 seconds, up to five foes within a 50 degree five kilometer cone, damage scales with engine power. Can you imagine, captains, if we all activate this at the same time in one DFO? Hilarious. Applies a stacking three engine power drain per second, but does not cancel at low engine power. May be canceled manually. If current engine power exceeds 25%, there's a recovery of X percent based on engine power of, course, of recharge per second. Starship trait five magics dealing fire, cold, electrical, psionic, or radiation to foes boost current engine power levels per second for 15 seconds and grants bonus disruptor fire, cold, electrical, psionic, and radiation damage based on engine power. They really want you to boost your engine power. When dealing damage with any of the five magics, fire, cold, electrical, radiation, psionic, apply the following for 15 seconds, X current engine power per second, Y bonus damage to the five magics, and disruptor, 50% per engine power. Johnson Relish. That was a lot of technical mumbo jumbo or Tecmo Babel, or I guess it wouldn't be Tecmo Babel, since it's like really old words, but but there you go, Caps. That is our event ship prize, and we are looking definitely forward to it, personally, as we're going to have fun. Like I said, some of the recent consoles that we've come out has all these weird or sort of spellish sort of fire effects to it, so this is going to go well. Is it going to get... Us through the content that we play nightly 100 percent elite eh, might be a, a little bit more of a sluggish fight with five other ships like this but we'll get through it we'll get through it because we're always doing it for what for fun as we always do it here on the bridge now we're going to do something quick here we're going to do a quick reload here of the twitter feeds just to make sure that they haven't put anything up because sometimes they love to sneak it after and i wouldn't be surprised if something came in after that but 
There you go, Caps. Again, we have this ship as our event prize. We're super, super excited and can't wait to have some fun with this. And captains that are new to Star Trek Online, this is a, a very, very easy way, easy way to get your first tier six ship for free. The event daily is so quick. We'll do another revisit video of that, of what we do to get our daily so that we can sh show this to newer captains again who are starting Star Trek Online and that they can get this ship for free to at least get you through the initial content that you play. So I think you only have to be at level 5 or 10. I, uh, 10, I believe it's 10. Correct me if I'm wrong in the comments below, captains, so that you can participate in this event. So if you're brand new, you just got to get through those first levels and you'll get to do this quite easily. So we'll do our coverage as we've normally done here on the bridge of the summer event to the best of our ability. Again, always sharing our love and passion here with you captains on the bridge. That is the video, captains. Do us a huge favor. Hit that like button. Also, comment below. Correct me on any of the words that I've said here because, I, like I said, I've never seen those words. And we gave a shot, and it was absolutely fun just to kind of read those blogs. So, also, again, once again, if you're new here, consider subscribing here to the YouTube Bridge for the latest and how we cover Star Trek Online. And, of course, we will leave it on this note. Live long and prosper.